What's going on, y'all? I'm here to talk about one of my personal favorite Gen 9 Pokemon that I was actually super disappointed by in the actual games in regards to the moves they gave it, the abilities they chose for it, and all types of other things. But before I get into that, I just want to clarify this is a ROM hack. It's not balanced for anything competitive whatsoever. Uh, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of details linked down below in the description. So if this is your first video of mine, shout out to you. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you. Comment down below if you're a new viewer. You know, it's cool to know how many new people come and join the community and subscribe and find out about my work just through the videos. Um, yeah, pause the video. Tons of information in the description after you're done watching this, or uh, you can pause it and come back after. Is uh, tons of videos linked down below, but most importantly, there is a bullet pointed text list of tons of uh, useful, I would say very important information about how the hack is balanced and my approach to the game. So that'll answer a lot of your questions that you might have just by looking at this at face value. Uh, speaking of questions, uh, I'm going to address the flavor for the abilities first. I think some people might find uh, Flash Fire to be odd. Levitite is like they literally are con constantly levitating in game, and I believe the text even says that they use. Like, like they, they, they like magnet eyes. Not sure. They don't get magnet eyes. All right, that's fucking stupid. They levitate, dude. They are literally constantly floating, um, in the game. And it's and to me, it's not like fishes. You know how like fish Pokemon will float, for example. I don't think it's the same thing. I, I think he definitely fits levitate. Also, I think especially because they have filter in vanilla, I think it's kind of funny to give them. <laughs> Because uh, Steel Poison obviously only has two weaknesses to fire and ground, so giving it immunity abilities to both of those with the infinite, uh, the ability to infinitely change your uh, ability, <laughs> Jesus I worded that horribly, the ability to change your abilities whenever you want to in the game, uh, because it's a ROM hack, right, so you're prepping for bosses, That's all. It's, it's prep, you have the advantage of prep, so you're switching to best match that situation, which is why for one boss fight you can run a purely bulky utility river room with Black Sludge and all of this awesome shit, as you can see Black Sludge now heals one eighth, um, but also, um, you can switch to a more offensive spread and run, you know, a, you know, a bunch of covers, moves, and all this cool shit. So, yeah, um, Steel Poison, incredible defensive typing already, even with the weaknesses. Weaknesses in general are not a big deal in game whatsoever. They're very easy to play around, and they can actually be useful to bait specific attacks. So you can, you know, use the abuse the AI and stuff. But um, regardless, I mean, having that immunity option is always great. So. You technically have, oh my god, no weaknesses, holy shit guys, he's broken, he has no weaknesses, how are you supposed to kill him? Right? You know, how the fuck, how does he, how do you, you know, if it's not super effective, it's doing 0% damage, we all know this, so, um, obviously I'm, I'm kidding, but, um, it is good, it is a very nice tool to have, of course, it's very cool, I mean, that's why I picked the abilities, I wouldn't have put them, put them there if I thought they were underwhelming, uh, they are good abilities. Uh, the flavor for Flash Fire, I was trying to explain, but I got sidetracked. So, well, number one, the obvious thing, okay, here's what I will say, when I, for, when I first saw Rubber Room, before they were officially revealed, like, they were shown in the Scarlet Violet trailers on the actual car, and I saw the face, I was like, yo, please, steal poison with Flash Fire, steal poison with Flash Fire, I was fucking begging, I also wanted Flare Boost, I also, honestly, uh, if he didn't make almost no sense to be a special attacker, I would have 100% given him Flare Boost, I think that's sick, um, if I could make Flare Boost work with attack too, I would love, I'd love to give him Flare Boost, because it's just super cool, but, um, sadly, it doesn't really work for him, uh, but yeah, Flare Boost, Flash Fire, Fire moves, that all fits him perfectly, in my opinion. Same with rock moves. That's why he has tons of rock moves. Um, it's because he's literally made of rocks. In fact, he's majority rocks. The only steel part on him is the little exhaust engine. Uh, speaking of engine, that's also why I gave him Flash Fire. Um, a lot of Flash Fire is like, okay, for me, Flash Fire can be like gas, right? Like absorbing gas. Like, for example, I gave it to, I gave it to Weezing as well. Um, because they're like absorbing, taking in gas. Um, so like it creates a gas out of poison minerals, it then detonates the gas in its cylinders to generate energy. That type of vibe, like an engine in general, very much fits uh, Flash Fire to me. Um, heat proof would be a little bit more fitting, but it's at that point it's just kind of, I don't, I'd rather just give it a different ability, because it's like, wow, I don't know, it's just not worth an ability slot at that point to me, because it's like, wow, I'm neutral to fire, I don't know, who cares, you know. <laughs> it's not bad, I'm not trying to say heat proof would be bad, but yeah. Um, that out of the way, stat-wise, he's very, very tanky. Again, keep in mind that Black Sludge. And then he also... So, it's funny, actually. This guy has, like, a billion exclusive moves. Um, so, all moves in this hack are reworked. So, again, if you are new here, again, pause the video, read the description. Once you're done, you could check out the Google Sheet and look at all the cool move changes. I also have a video going over all of them, but it's, it's two hours long, so that's more for people who like to listen to long-form content. If you're not interested in that, you can always just check them out on the actual Google Sheet, link down below. Uh, everything is super, super organized into super thorough categories by type, by category. It's very easy to understand, so... I mean, it's easy to understand given how much has changed, at the very least. Obviously, it's still a lot of changes, but it's all fitting in. It's all organized, so it, it'll help. Um, 
Yeah, so defensively he's great. I mean, 80, 109, 180 bulk is very, very solid with investment. You can easily um, switch around your EVs. I wanted to give him something like Baneful Bunker for that Black Sludge, but... <sighs> so, <laughs> this guy is honestly hard to balance, because no matter what, I mean... Giving him that high horsepower, which there's no way I was going to remove that, right? So high horsepower is exclusive in this game. I only give it to Pokemon with hooves because the animation literally shows a hoof. However, I figured Rubber Broom could keep it as a pun because, you know, cars, horsepower, I think it's funny. Um, I mean, that's why he gets it in vanilla, I'm assuming, is, is because of the pun. Um, Headlong Rush, by the way, that is there because he is a car. He can, like, hit you, like, you know, ram you, kind of like Double Edge, but... Yeah, um, same with Flare Blitz, same with Head Smash, also giving him rock moves in general makes a lot of sense because, again, he is made of rock. Um, part of me almost wanted to give him a renamed Rocky Payload, but I ended up renaming it something else to fit actual rock types because that 1.5 boost is much more significant when it's given to, you know, actual rock types. Meanwhile, if it's coverage, it's not bad. It wouldn't be useless, but, like, Steel Poison with tons of other coverage moves, like, you're never really using Rocky Payload or whatever I ended up calling it. Uh, you, you wouldn't really use it that much. It's not useless, but just kind of whatever. Um, speed boost is obviously much, much better and much, much more fitting. Or, not much more fitting, but also incredibly fitting. Um, it's kind of insane they didn't give it speed boost in vanilla. It's probably a balanced thing, but obviously in-game it's it's much it's much less overpowered. Uh, still very good. Um, however, there is no protect. So the only way you can get a free... And also if you switch in, for those of you who don't know, if you switch in, you don't get a speed boost. You have to wait a full turn. So that is actually counter... You know, it makes it a little bit more balanced. However, you can come in on something that you're faster than, or just get a kill with like quick law whatever you want to do you can get a kill and then get a speed boost and kill the next mon that comes in because you have tons of good coverage you know um and tons of strong stab moves as well which i'll get into but yeah um i love this guy because of how versatile again every pokemon in this hack is very versatile i designed them all to be useful uh from beginning to end with tons of cool options that they can they can play around with depending on the situation with team locked again if you're new and you made it this far into the video first of all shout out to you leave a comment down below regardless if you're new or returning also Thank you for returning to all my videos. I appreciate all you guys who watch all my videos very much. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll explain. I mean, you guys can read what all the signature moves do, but the beauty of high horsepower and the reason it's so late at level 65, outside of just being a guaranteed, you know, flinch tease, you know, free chip, free kill, whatever, it's, it's obviously very strong regardless of the flinch because it's just a 90 base power priority, even if it's only one time use. In a, in a, versus AI, that's all you need. You know, in competitive, it's obviously much harder to pull something like that off because... The, play, uh, the opponent is constantly switching around, whatever, but in-game it's very it's very predictable and you can easily click that and time the timing of the move perfectly. So, uh, But the best part of it is the fact that you can switch in and then click it and get a free speed boost on top of free damage. And then you can kill whatever's in front of you, especially if it's like a Sash Mon or something. And then you can continue to outspeed more and more. You can also run Shell Bell, which is now buffed, to heal by 20% of damage dealt. So essentially you can use Shell Bell... Uh, with all your recoil moves like Flare Blitz um, and then Head Smash and Spin Out both deal 50% recoil, both 100% accurate and Spin Out also gives you a speed boost which is great. Um, it, granted, it's actually balanced more around Iron Treads uh, because River Room could totally have a stronger one and the plus one speed isn't as impactful because he has speed boost but if you want to run it with Levitator Flash Fire that's very good. Um, and it's still, you know, uh, worth having, uh, worth using. Um, but yeah, it's mostly balanced this way, like, you know, with the severe drawback because of Iron Treads, because of how broken it would be otherwise. It's still going to be pretty fucking crazy on him, to be honest, but yeah. Um, regardless, getting those speed boosts, running all those coverage moves, that's very good offensively. Defensively, again, I already covered Steel Poison is incredible. It has so many resistances. I mean, look at this, dude. Bro resists, like, over half of the fucking type chart. I love Steel Poison. It's one of my favorite type combos. I've wanted one forever. I'm so happy we finally have one. I love these guys, man. I, I was actually... <laughs> I'm still kind of disappointed that they're floating and that they're all rock. I don't know. They could have been so much cooler. I'm sure someone's going to comment, oh, I wish you could, like, customize them and whatever. And I agree. Like, make your own car, color them, give them paint jobs. Maybe one day they'll give them an evolution or a regional form or some shit. I don't know. But I still love them. I still think they're sick. So, yeah, utility-wise, he's got Parting Shot, Black Sludge, Taunt, uh, Reliable Recovery in the form of Fortify, which is uh, Steel-type Recover. Um, I also got, I mean, there's tons of awesome flavor moves here. Um, again, tons of great coverage, like Temper Flare being Fire Wicked Blow in conjunction with Flare Blitz. Uh, Fire Wicked Blow can't be used twice in a row, though. All Wicked Blow variants can't be used twice in a row, so that's the downside there. Meanwhile, Flare Blitz can be clicked twice in a row, so definitely some uh, reasons to choose either one, depending on the situation. Um, Stone Edge versus Head Smash. You know, Stone Edge is also the same thing as Temper Flare. Wicked Blow variant can't be used twice in a row. Rock Wrecker, very, very strong. Level 40 is incredibly early. I wanted to give them really cool rock moves early on, 
because again uh, they almost have like that pseudo triple type with the rock typing you know and almost even fire so i think giving them like a lot of fire and rock moves for flavor is super cool and then tons of car oriented moves like takedown wild charge you know all that type of stuff uh, high horsepower had long rush all these like moves that make sense you know trailblaze ice spinner because the wheel flame wheel i mean flame wheel fits incredibly regardless but yeah um power dash accelerate rock for priority yeah, I want to hit home with utility stuff because I think that's something people are going to overlook because they just like to use Unga Bunga. Like, they just see big, oh my god, he's fast and he has lots of strong moves. But, like, first of all, a lot of the really strong ones are late game. And then, second, like, the utility of having how like having that great bulk with that great typing and uh, Black Sludge buffs. I mean, dude, 1 8 HP Black Sludge plus Fortify, like, farting shot. Oh, he's so cool. Immortal ass motherfucker, bro. Uh, Mortal Spin is great, so that has now changed to. Um, I could have thrown Rapid Spin on, however, Rapid Spin, so this is not, again, balanced around competitive, right? So T-Spikes are going to be maybe, maybe like one or two boss fights in the entire game. Stealth Rocks, I would be surprised if even one boss fight uses them. And that's it. And then maybe webs, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, it's, it's niche and other mons will get it. You can always remove hazards with other shit. It's not a big deal, man. Um, not to mention, I kind of, if anything, like the fact that you couldn't remove them. Uh, because of how rare they are on the AI, when they are used, I want them to be like relatively hard to counter, or you know, that you try to make sure they don't go up by killing whatever has them. You get the point. Um, yeah, so that's why. Uh, I also, I just didn't really. I mean, I guess I could have thrown it on at level nine. I don't know. Maybe I will after the video. Uh, I'll write down a note to think about it. But regardless, Mortal Spin. Oh, I know. What the fuck am I saying? Oh, yeah. Rapid Spin would be for the speed boost. That's what I was trying to say. I, I got very sidetracked. Rapid Spin would be for the speed boost for which they have Rock Polish. That's why I didn't give it. I remember now. Yeah. They don't have Rapid Spin because Rock Polish is right there for uh, for speed boosting. And it, it makes it fits flavor-wise really cool. I like Rock Polish on them. And then, um, because again, they are made of rock. And then, what's it called? Uh, they have Mortal Spin, which instead of dealing damage, now is a debuff move. So it's similar to Nuzzle. It's literally, it's basically poison type nuzzle um nuzzle was also changed to be a non-damaging move that drops attack special attack and speed oh actually nuzzle nuzzle doesn't do that but nuzzle paralyzes so it's essentially a speed drop uh, a half speed as opposed to minus one me my mortal spin is just minus one all three and then uh it poisons so that's great for earlier on i mean level 20 it's super early very very good utility move on room room is very tanky uh very good typing as i said with all the immunities and shit too um you know like mortal spin parting shot Fortify, Torment, all types of good. Torment is great too, man. But the Movie Leonard makes your Pokemon so much more flexible. I love it so much. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, that's Mortal Spin for you. And then Noxious Gas is the exact same thing, but it's minus two. And it doesn't remove hazards and shit, I guess. But that's, again, a very niche uh, effect in-game. Uh, so it's basically just double Mortal Spin. However, um, it only has two PP while Mortal Spin has, uh, I believe, five or ten. So... Uh, there's definitely some still reason to keep using Mortal Spin over Noxious Gas, and then the Noxious Gas, obviously very, very fitting flavor-wise. All of these are exclusive. Whenever I list a move here, 9 out of 10 times, it's exclusive, if you're wondering why I specify some moves and not others, because most moves are changed, right? You'd be wondering, well, why don't you list all these other important move changes? It's because they're not exclusive. Those ones you should be able to just gather by looking at the move guide and scrolling and understanding all these categories, but all the exclusives are listed. Uh, so, for the most part, not always... But for the most part, uh, like shift gear is technically also an ex very exclusive move flavor wise, but you guys know what that does already. And it does actually boost special attack now, but that's not relevant in this case. So that's why I didn't list it out. Also, just because there's too much shit to list. Um, also, I know somebody might mention Electro Drift and Collision Course, which are both now physical moves uh, oriented for Great Tusk and Iron Treads. Um, that boost speed and handle is other cool. They're basically the same thing as spin out, actually, but just fighting and uh, electric type. But um, I chose not to give it to that him, number one, because it fits enough. Yeah, I get it. He's a car. It's funny. But, like, I don't know. He just has too many, like, exclusive moves, you know? I don't want to add fucking more, dude. Like, I think he already probably is going to end up having, like, top 10% most amount of signature or exclusive moves in the hack. Um, which is cool. I mean, it makes sense. He's a car. And he's, like, this very unique Pokemon. But I don't know, man. I figured it was too much. Not to mention I uh, tailored the base power of Electro Drift to be stab on iron treads meanwhile of course he's not electric type so that's why i basically made it 150 power as opposed to 100 that way so iron treads get stab on it um like it's a pseudo stab boost i guess you could say so uh that would be even weirder because like it's like why is this 150 base power electric i don't know it's just kind of weird so i opted not to give it to them they have plenty of other cool shit speaking of they also have devious lick um devious lick is super sick um very i mean obviously if you guys don't know 
maybe some people don't know, I mean, Red Room, this whole thing is like the tongue. I think this might even, yeah, it sticks its tongue out from its electrical mouth and sprays toxic fluid, so even the deck says it, but if you haven't seen it in-game, I mean, my, my man has his tongue out and shit uh, on the Starmobile. Not so much, I don't know about actual River Broom and his animations, but I know for a fact that Starmobile has the tongue out. So, that's also an exclusive move, Inflicts Curse. That's incredible with Fortify and Black Sludge because of how tanky you are, how good your typing is. You know, you can wall so many mons with Steel Poison plus Levitate, Flash, Flash, Fire, and then just click Devious Lick and just stall like three mons to death. And you can also switch around. I mean, it's so good. You can also add poison on there. You know, Mortal Spin, not, uh, Devious Lick. Like at that point, what are they? They're, they're fucked, dude. They're, they're, they're dying. So yeah, Stally Rever Broom is incredible with that Black Sludge Fortify and all of these debuffing Slash Residual damage moves. It's not purely just an offensive Bunga Bunga tool, although of course it is very good at that as well, um, which is why it's so cool to be so versatile. So I think I've covered basically everything I want to talk about here. Thank you for listening. And I'll be back for more coming up. Uh, actually, no, I got everything. Yeah, I mean, sweeping late game is pretty OP because of shift gear into high horsepower because a lot of the counter setup stuff, I mean, like, obviously leads are going to have taunt or status or other anti-setup stuff. However, another counter measure to set up is that there's going to be um, quick claw, a consumable quick claw on the AI in the middle of the team. So it comes out and then forces a fast you know, sweeper out because they're going to move first. I mean, they're not always going to force you out, not to mention you can endure, whatever, you get the point. But but endure doesn't uh, make you immune to status moves and all that other shit. Meanwhile, high horsepower just straight up flinches and outspeeds the quick claw. So you burn up the quick claw, and now you, you, you outspeed them, and then you, you, it gives you a free speed boost. It's, cra it's pretty crazy. So definitely a little bit OP late game. You probably might get some sweeps going pretty easily because of that high horsepower, plus that shift gear, plus all of the cool strong coverage moves you got but regardless you'll still get plenty of uses out of the defensive stuff and also if you find sweeping boring you can also just ban it as a soft rule or like soft ban it where you only allow certain types or whatever it is you know um it's up to you you can always play out the game how you want to play it but i did i did put enough nerfs uh for setup moves at the very least like shift gear even being negative priority for taunt leads and shit like that but regardless it's still uh still pretty great and you don't even really need to shift gear to kill shit anyways you can just run high horsepower plus speed boost plus like a a bunch of coverage and a boosting item and shit so yeah thank you for listening i'll be back for more changes coming up peace